It's October. Time for my favorite holiday. That's right, Baloney Day! And just for the record, I prefer mine grilled. Actually, National Grouch Day is my favorite, but Halloween is up there in the top 50 somewhere. And we got another treat from Ark Entertainment to celebrate. After watching Ray Liotta bastardize Dracula last year, it made me pine away for a horror classic like Shockma. And since I am a glutton for punishment, I've decided to go in for round two of Ark Entertainment's true horror tales in animated form with A Monstrous Holiday. Gee, I wonder who they hornswoggled the voice act in this one. Brooke Shields? John Hader? Damn! How did they outdo Asylum? I can't imagine this movie clipping harder than what Trollland did, but a man can dream. I can only imagine how underutilized all of this voice talent is going to be in here. Whatever, let's just get on with it. Oh, you're not even trying, are you? Did Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends hit the skids? Honestly, this looks way better than Dear Dracula, and I haven't even seen the CG yet. Am I coming down with a cold? Okay, two things here. One, I wish Transylvania was somewhere in my backyard. That would be great! Two, this place is already scary because apparently Dora the Explorer lives here! Even the Unabomber had to start somewhere. Subject underwent ignition and uncontrolled... Um... Uh, it blew up. Becoming the next Heisenberg sure is tough. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, well, this is apparently some sort of Jimmy Neutron ripoff. Hooray! Don't suppose you just blew up anything valuable? Define valuable. Time to drink mimosas and run for mayor of Wasilla. Fast. I'm so fast. Oh, oh, look out! Tough guy coming through! Oh, come on! You just reskinned Banjo Kazooie! Sorry, boy. It's time for school. We can work on our project later. Oh, now they're ripping off Dingo with asset recycling. <laughs> ah, how convenient to have a death ramp right there in front of you. Who's moving into that house, Chad Muska? Totally got the Weber fever. Ew. Weaver's the worst. <laughs> Sounds to me like somebody's late for school. Well, hop to it, Slowpoke. Having a teacher parent probably raises your chances of becoming an alcoholic. Friday is also our annual science fair. Yes! <laughs> oh, dear God. Twins again. I only hope and pray they don't sound like Tara Strong. If you do this experiment right, it shouldn't blow up your garage. <laughs> Why would you allow children to direct a science class? Isn't that your job, lady? Uh, this doesn't look good. No, it looks awesome. Why do ARK Entertainment cartoons always seem to be buffering? Well, she said that Andy shows promise, but lacks restraint and attention to detail. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're recycling Sam's house from Dear Dracula. Were you guys understudies to Dingo Pictures? I just don't get him. Well, spend some time with him. Figure out what he likes and why. Lady, he is a dad, not an actual parent. 
maybe, just maybe, I would consider using the potato clock if I had already resigned myself to a lifetime of failure in community college. Should I feel that academic burn? I mean, I did teach community college for a while. I had a long conversation with your science teacher today. We slam Jägermeister in the faculty lounge. Dr. Frankenstein may be brilliant, but he's also alone. I know, it sounds like paradise. You're joining the football team. Dad, I can't play football. Well, you haven't tried. I'll be crushed. Yeah, have you seen their star linebacker? No! It'll teach you the value of teamwork. That's very after school special of you, Dad, but the science fair is on Friday and I can't win if I don't enter. Why does he have Ren on his wall? He should have Dr. Stupid instead. Oh, win the science fair? <laughs> and it sounds like Ralph agrees. He's still mad that he was only worth second place. Besides, it's not like I even have an idea for a project. The fucking robotic dog was second place? What the hell did the twins make? The cure for cancer? The new Luigi's Mansion looks whack. <laughs> oh yeah, my rockets. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that will never get old for me. Whoa. Then what was the point of the signage? Or is Singed Kid too violent? So, Dr. Frankenstein is either really early, or never takes his tree down. I hope he's not one of those people. I guess it's better than having Santa on your roof in August. Don't let it escape! Oh, gross. Kids shouldn't be exposed to Cardi B and Megan the Stallion so soon. Please don't scream. Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't know why I screamed. Does milk really do my undead body good? It's mold. Specifically, tinea pettis. Athlete's foot? It's from an experiment of Dr. Frankenstein's that backfired. It's a mindless eating machine. So, you've reinvented Slimer. I bet the Ecto Cooler flavor tastes like shit. There's a lot more money in toned and beautiful than in, well, things like me. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of Blades of Glory either. Nice to meet you, Frank. I... Uh, ooh. Sorry, super strength. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You didn't break my jack in hand. <laughs> okay, Andy, let's see some hustle out there now. Hustle, right. <laughs> Whatever he gives, I guarantee it looks way better than Madden on PlayStation 4. You See what I did there? I kept my head up. First lesson, don't lead with your head, you could get hurt. I'm living proof. Yeah, that took a lot of courage. Facing up to the fact that you couldn't possibly win. <laughs> Damn, that's brutal. I had no idea George Takei's granddaughters could cut so deep. A lot of people like Halloween because it's an excuse to dress up like a monster and be scary. But I always look like this. I'd rather look forward to Christmas. So long as this doesn't turn into a Christmas special, Charlie Brown, I'm cool with it. He leaves you at home alone? I don't go out. Everybody's afraid of me. Is Hater just talking about his daily life? I'll let you take my place on the football team, and you can be my science experiment. I'm thinking it could be called, It Ain't Easy, Making a Kid Less Green. All right, two more things here. One, that's just fucking stupid. Two, I think Kermit the Frog might want to have a word with you. Welcome to HentaiCon! Uh, gee! If you want me to help you in your Halloween costume, just tell me! That kid hasn't bathed? Gross! Is that a, a riddle? Is it a simile? You use the word as, so it might be a simile. You know, I fancy myself as a writer, but 
I'm pretty sure most children don't give a flying fuck about grammar jokes. So natural. It's supernatural, but, you know, natural. This is how I roll out of bed in the morning. And then I vote for Pedro. Do you know any wolf men? Or, or wolf girls? Wolf girls are so... Calm down. I did not need to know that there is a yiffer in this movie. Yes. This is pretty weird. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, the bench warmers was a bad career move. Kid, what are you doing here? Sorry, mister. Uh, I mean, uh, dad? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Andy. Gee, you look bigger in those pads. Now, now get in there. Will do, coach. Part sweat, part hustle, and a good old dose of determination. Oh, and grit, dad. Don't forget the grit. Don't talk about your toilet paper now, weirdo. Now this is already better than Madden. Why are you making diarrhea? Did you ever see a hotel room under a black light? Careful, the Nick Jr. logo is about to go rogue. Oh, I can't wait to play in an actual game. Practice is fun and all, but I keep picturing myself running for the end zone with a ball in my hands. And my dad cheering you on. Yeah! You're gonna be great. <sighs> Imagine, knowing a father's love. I bet it's swell. Dearest reaction. <clears throat> I think we can all take last year's peanut butter incident as a reminder. <laughs> Are you ready to taste the agony of defeat? Come and play with us. Indeed. This peanut butter tastes like glue. Hit, son. Great hit. You're the best. I'm so glad that's not me. Yeah, father-son bonding is way overrated. If we keep watching Pornhub, I'll lose an eye. Good hit. You're the best. Is this Mutant League football now? It's working. It's really hard! Whew. Puberty hit you hard, Barry White. Andy, you're the cutest boy. I've always loved you. On the football field. Okay, Chloe. I said it. Where's my damn 20 bucks? When I say go, throw the switch. Wait for it. Now! Okay. So what happens now? It's working! This is it, buddy. You're next! How much is a fuck ton? That was a little shocking. Shut up. Shut up. Fine, I will. Good. Keep on pretending to be me. I'd make a better Andy anyways. He wish. Well, your dad sure thinks I do. So, is this like the second act breakup? I would say it's sad to see Napoleon and Pedro part ways, but who fucking cares? Well, don't downplay it, kiddo. I want you to be our starting running back. Today at practice, well, it was like a totally different kid out there. I might have noticed if I knew who you are, but I'm an unattentive dad. It's kind of my thing. I've never, never been more proud of you, son. Glad we had such a breakthrough. I have a few hours until the science fair. There's still time for a great experiment. But isn't that your experiment? This running gag that will probably win? No. Okay, Ralph. Time to go big or go home. Time to make a rutabaga clock. Welcome to the XFL. If we can make those charges bigger and stronger, we can take a meager potato and turn it into, well, we're about to find out. Oh dear God, 
This boy is about to recreate the Nazi zombie dog experiment. Except with potatoes! I'm gonna win! Aww. Oh, what are we doing? We should be at the game, not here. And how does this event give you a change of heart? Are potatoes just the remedy that the doctor ordered? Dressing up like a revenant was marginalizing to monsters. And this was the only costume left in the store. They already put away the Halloween costumes and put out the Christmas stuff. Really? See, this is why I hate Christmas so much. Although I can't figure out what the hell Link has to do with the birth of Jesus. Holy moly! That's huge! It's almost as big as that zit on my ass. Dude, why are you dropping me off at the set of Dear Dracula? Oh, that's right. I already hit the Smith house. It's obvious that your drug dealer hates you. Green Chevy 2! Hut up, hut, hut up! Go me! Why are you passing? Let Jerome Bettis do his thing! It worked! He's eating! He caught a pass, not a touchdown. I don't understand why you're celebrating here. It's akin to taking a Gatorade bath after you hit a single. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, man, I totally knew it. How did you know? After that first hit, I knew it couldn't possibly be you. I run into brick walls for fun. Please don't scream. <laughs> Third time, and it's still not funny. Sad. Oh, this is all my fault. I'm the monster here. I ignored my friends all for the sake of creating the perfect experiment to win the science fair. I'm sorry I endangered everyone. Okay, lesson learned. Let's move on. Thanks, shitty writing. Gus, you have an athlete's foot, right? What? Is he trying to lay a finger on my Butterfinger? Hail Mary! <laughs> yeah, I'm not the best in the uh, oh, I, I caught it! <laughs> I'm sure there's a premature ejaculation joke in there somewhere. Wait! There's no need to be angry. I know where you're coming from. You came from my toilet. But we don't have to fight each other. We're the same, you and me. I know how it feels to be different. If only Hollywood would quit typecasting me. One more shot coming at ya! Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the palette swap explosion? So original. We did it! Awesome job, bro! I see you guys won the science fair. Again. There wasn't any competition this year anyway. So we were thinking, we've been invited to the upcoming state robotics competition. Will, Will you, you join, join our, our team? team? You know taking on that thing took guts, son. Hey, don't, don't forget the grit. <laughs> and grit. 
I'm so proud of you. Now, what's my name? He's on the team too, but I have one condition. I know, we have to clean up the field. Well, yeah, but what I meant is, we can't have two Andys on the team. Well, actually, you can. You just have to change the name tag on the back of the jersey. It's not anything super hard. By the way, nice elf costume. Yeah, I was just trying to be more sensitive to the, the persecution of, of monsters. SJW Link sure does suck. <laughs> I think I feel another big idea coming on. Yeah. <laughs> what a week. Oh, another stellar finishing line, Arc Entertainment. And that was a monstrous holiday. Leaving me with the question, what the hell did I just watch? I'm never going to figure out Arc Entertainment's business model here. They get celebrity voices. And then totally underutilize them throughout the film. John Hader, I recognize that voice because it's all through the film. All right. Brooke Shields, the top billed star on the DVD? Couldn't tell ya! I know she's the mother, but I don't know how much she's used. It's craziness! I can't really get mad at this film, because it's so bland and forgettable. I mean, aside from, like, weird morals and, like questionable judgment calls by some characters in this it's really not bad per se it's no worse than dear dracula but if i do have one thing that just confuses me to no end it's who is the rightful mother and father to Gus and Andy. Because if you look, the boy's eyes are green. The parent's eyes are brown. And don't give me that hazel bullshit. I don't trust it. Something's not right. That is a mystery that should be solved. But it won't because myself and four other people might care. And even we are disinterested in that idea. So there you go. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to make my own green monster in the lab. Happy Halloween. Jack off my jack-o'-lantern. After watching Ray Liotta bastardize Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And how? <coughs> 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 <coughs>